Until 1985, I served as a firefighter in Shreveport and then assistant chief training officer on the Shreveport Fire Department. This site is dedicated to the men and women who put their lives and safety on the line during emergency response. On September 17, 1984, by responding to a leak of anhydrous ammonia in a coal storage facility, we had two of our members seriously injured. I was one of them. My name is James Patrick Johnson. My background is the fire service. Until 1985, I served as a firefighter in Shreveport and then assistant chief training officer on the Shreveport Fire Department. Captain Percy Johnson and I were sent to the hazmat call. During the process of us trying to patch the leak, it ignited and exploded. Captain Johnson was burned over 95% of his body. I was burned 72%. He passed away as a result of his injuries 36 hours later. I lived to tell the tale. After I got out of the burn unit, after having 110 units of blood transfuse and having six skin grafts, I decided after I convalesced for a while to get involved and start a burn foundation. I learned everything I could about anhydrous ammonia. I learned about its behavior. I learned about how it would ignite under a narrow set of circumstances. I began teaching and training and becoming a safety advocate around the world for issues like this involving hazardous materials and emergency response. One of the things we discovered is that if industry and the fire service would work together, they could be more effective uh, in mitigating and responding to any type of hazardous materials emergency. It's much better when we work like this together rather than working like this. We'd like to welcome you to PM Hazmat. PM Hazmat stands for Preventative Matrix for Hazardous Materials and Emergency Response. We stand for five principles, service, integrity, safety, efficiency, and effectiveness.